not so known because that work is at the grassroots level. I'm glad UNICEF has partnered. Uh, we could partner with UNICEF in this context. And it's so important for hospitals to have the wherewithal to get into public health. We can't just be doing tertiary care. It's, it's on the ground at the grassroots level. We need to get involved and actually deliver care at the ground. And uh, that commitment from America is always there, Dr. Nicola. And uh, you've changed the entire perspective of pediatrics in America. And, and very, very thank you for that. And uh, it's only a beginning. It's only a beginning. It was a long way to go. Thank you very much. We see that the private sector comes forward, works, evident best practice, the implementation of breastfeeding and color of mother care. I think that Medica should be a big approach for this thing because that is the thing. Because in the beginning, in the private sector, 10 years ago I have written in a paper that private sector are not doing the exclusive breastfeeding, initiation of breastfeeding and color mother care. But now my thought has been changed because they have come for both that the actual Medica can change that. Not only that, as a you see that medical negligence is a huge part. And every time I came forward to evaluate against the private sector that there is a medical negligence, they are fine whether they have practiced the evidence best practice. I request uh, Dr. Abhijit Chakravarti sir, please address the gathering. Sir, 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 please. Not very good. But these are the information actually really changes the game. Who is the actually these are based on scientific evidence and more practice. It is very good to see that out of these four, five we have changed intervention, who will be discussed today? Ma'am, Samni. Ma'am, please. Thank you, one and all, for being part of this ceremony. 
I am Dr. Vandana Bhatia, health specialist with UNICEF in West Bengal. And I am proud to partner with the team of government experts, uh, Dr. Ashim Malik with Dr. Vijan Sah, INN, INN uh, team uh, uh, Parundi and uh, Dr. Nicola from Medica Synergy. We are all collaborating together with UNICEF and all the partners so that we can promote breastfeeding and kangaroo care even in the private sector. Okay, the main aim of this workshop is to promote, promote the breastfeeding and kangaroo mother in the private sector. In the government sector, we are doing the skin to skin contact at the labor and we also do the kangaroo mother care routinely. But in the private sector, they are doing, but they are doing by support. By this workshop, will help them to establish that the skin to skin that practice the delivery, and also to continue as a kangaroo mother care in the low birth weight babies in their ward also. Because kangaroo mother care, it helps to growth of the baby. It, by doing the kangaroo mother care, the baby becomes warm. The baby exclusive breastfeeding will be enhanced. There is no infection. There is a good bonding, and there is the alveolar. And in future, the IQ will be more, and there is a neurodevelopment behavior. So the theme is that if you practice at least half an hour of skin-to-skin -skin contact at birth. Exclusive breastfeeding rate in place, which is now in a 60 percent as per in the data. Our target is that the exclusive breastfeeding rate, that means the breastfeeding up to six months exclusively, should be around 90 percent. Government of West Bengal, and now I am working as a neonatal and pediatric nursing faculty for long period, and I am vice president of Indian Association of Neonatal Nurses. Uh, I like to. Uh, make awareness and uh, more promotion of breastfeeding and the kangaroo mother care and infection control practices along with developmental supportive care for the preterm low birth weight in units. So these kangaroo mother care workshop I think it will help to practice the kangaroo mother care and exclusive breastfeeding rate for the low birth weight preterm units. Those are born in the affluent family and those are born in the private sectors. I think we are doing in the public sector in the government hospital. So this is our motto to promote this practice, exclusive breastfeeding and kangaroo mother care in the private sector also. For those newborn uh, low birth weight and preterm babies are born in the private sector. And especially it is now it is happening due to lifestyle changes. There's prematurity and low birth weight. It can happen into the affluent family also due to lifestyle changes and so many factors. So that's why it is our motto to improve the neonatal uh, mortality, to reduce the number of neonatal mortality and to improve the neonatal health by reducing the neonatal morbidity.